Hey, bookers and tubers, welcome to my kitchen. Yep, we're back. So many of you have said, how are we going to get the cooking videos? Are you kidding me? They're even going to get more crazy, more kind of inventive, if you will, because I live on a boat and the boat galley, which I think you might have seen the tour, it's limited. So let's do a little magic, shall we? Promise you some stuffed peppers. Now, I got, I think, five or six green peppers, um, bell peppers. But you know what? If you really want to make it colorful, get different colors. Get like a red one, a green one, a yellow one, and yada, yada, yada. And it makes it nice. So, mm, fresh red or bl green bell peppers. Ugh. And then I have a pound of ground turkey. I usually would have used sausage or beef. But because Bubby had a heart attack, I'm trying to make food more um, heart healthy for him. So, and I know he won't eat it if I do it with regular beef or sausage. So it's going to be ground turkey, but I'm going to vamp it up a little bit. Guess what's not in here? The B word, butter. I know, right? Me doing a recipe without butter. All right. So we got the ground turkey, the bell peppers, one egg. Then I have uh, breadcrumbs, olive oil, liquid smoke, oregano, garlic, basil, red hot sauce, salt. Where's my pepper? Oh, pepper and some balsamic vinegar. What I'm thinking, and I know one time somebody said to me, Antoinette, you, um, you always use the same spices. I do what my sister Maria, she gave me the best advice. Do you hear the jingling? That's so all the angels at Christmas get their wings. That's why I wear that. But anyway, my sister Maria, she said, you got to put in the flavors that you like. And I love oregano, garlic, and basil. And you know what? If you think about this, if you put those ingredients on a steak, and then you put those ingredients on a dish of pasta, does it taste the same? No. It's the base food that changes the taste of, you know, mixing with those seasonings. Enough preaching. Don't be judgy. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to do one of them. I pre-did uh, some of the peppers over here because I don't think you want to watch me sit there and um, open up peppers and clean them out. So I'll do the last one for you here. Clean it out. Cut it in half. I'm going to do this for the ladies out there maybe that don't cook. So that's what it's going to look like. So I've halved it and made this. This is where we're going to bury all the treasure. Okay, let me do the other side. And hold on, hold on. Let me get the core on this. Okay, another one. Okay, so those are our peppers. Next, I'm going to do just to save on dishes and whatever. I'm going to do all my mixing right in here, right inside the pan that I'm going to cook in. So let's throw in our pound of turkey. And you can use sausage, beef, whatever you want. It's already thawed, of course. And so let's put that in. I listened to you guys when you said, quit running to your trash can and put a little like garbage bin somewhere close by so you don't, you know, you're not constantly running off camera. Here's the news. I can't run that far from you on this boat. <laughs> okay, there's the turkey. Then again, you guys, a measure, measure, measure. I don't know. I probably put in, these are Italian breadcrumbs, of course. And I probably put in about the almost half the amount of the beef or meat that I put in. Next thing, I'm going to crack my egg egg. Go ahead and get that in there. One egg. If you're using a lot of meat, you're serving a bunch of people, put two eggs in. Now, I'm going to wait on the spices until I get this all mixed up. So this is where we get to be a kid again and play real pretty. And mushy to mush mush. And then I'll take a look at it and see if the breadcrumb ratio looks good. If the Oh, I forgot the rice. I got to get that. Hold on. Were you guys thinking that too? You're like, where's the rice? Does she put rice in? Okay, hold on. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that. I haven't done a cooking video in so long. I don't know if I'm any good at it anymore, but you'll tell me. I know. Okay, let, let me get the... Oh, the hook at the hands. Uh, don't know me. Uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering about my pot bin, if you thought it was meaning like cooking pots and pans, not not marijuana. Um, so anyway, I still have that challenge underneath me. Wait until you see the crazy pot bin I'm dealing with now. Okay, hold on. Let me get my rice. Where did I put it? 
See, it's a dig fest when you live on a boat because you gotta really stock things up. It's like Tetris. Oh, I see rice. I see rice. Long grain ready rice. This looks good. I'm gonna put that in it. Okay. So because I'm not that good of a rice cooker, I like to use these packets. You find them in any grocery store, but they're already done and they're ready to go. So I'll just take one of these and put it right in. Look, it goes right in. Can you guys see okay? All right, where's my bag? So now go back to the mush. <laughs> and that's gonna cook nice. So we're gonna put the rice, the turkey, the eggs, the egg, and uh, the breadcrumbs. Put that in, just play with it a little bit. Get that all in there. Now let's get some of the spices in here. So let's say, you know, I can't throw, I don't like uh, oregano, 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 or whatever, garlic, garlic, garlic. It's okay, you put in what you like. So let's play a little bit here now. Let's see what we have, hold on. Oh wait, I have to turn the water pressure on. Hold on, I'll be right back. See, some things never change, you guys. Here I am. Okay, here comes the water pressure. We can't have that on when we're sailing because it'll empty the water. We have um, like two, 200 gallons of water It'll this boat will carry. Oh my God, we're at six minutes already. You're probably not even there anymore. Okay, hold on. I'll go as fast as I can, sister. <laughs> All right, now let's get just to make it a little sticky, I like to get a little juicy juice with olive oil. I don't think I cook anything without olive oil. And besides, now if I was using beef and um, sausage, I probably wouldn't add the olive oil because you're already going to get the grease and the oil from those other meats. So, mm, on that. Then, I want to put in a little balsamic vinegar, right? Give it a little zing. Give it a, a little tang, right? So we're gonna put in a little balsamic vinegar, just a splashity splash, done. Then I want a little bit of liquid smoke just to give it that smoky smoke feel. Oh my God, I almost poured and that's a whole open thing. <laughs> a bit of smokety smoke feel, just a little bit. I give it that. And then the last liquid one I'm gonna put in, it's hot sauce, you can get whatever you want. So this is just to give it a little flair, a little jazz, a little bit of what you do, what you put in here. So I don't like boring food. A one, a two, a three, done. You don't have to add any of it. Now, let's go with the dry spices. Let's salt her up a little bit. I know you guys are always like, Ishmael, how much? Ah, whatever you like. Maybe you don't like too much salt. I gotta go less salt because of Bobby and the heart attack. Then pepper, black pepper. I'm just gonna do a little peppity pep pep, a one, a two, and a three. And then I got my oregano, and I'm gonna go about half a cap full. Is that a measurement? Like if you looked it up, would it make sense? And then I need my garlic. I think this one comes out, it's too, no, it's good. So a little splash, splash, splash of garlic. If you want, use fresh garlic, but I don't want the garlic to take over everything. So that's why I go with the dried garlic. It's not as offensive. It's not as pushy, punchy. I gotta turn the water off, hold on. See, that's something you don't have to do in a real house. Now I forgot the basil. Okay, get the basil. All right, another, mm hmm, it smells good right now. Another half cap full on that. This is a little cap, so I went all the way with one cap. I think that's it. I think I got it. So here's how it looks before I get to mix any 